Want to hear me tell a lie? Sonic Robo Blast 2 is undoubtedly the best Sonic fan game of all time and my favorite by far. Want to hear me do it again? Yep, that title is no lie. I don't get this game. And it's just been sitting there on my laptop home screen just for way too long just staring into me. And I stare back, but even still, I just don't get it! Sonic Robo Blast 2 seems to have earned itself a good spot in the eyes of many Sonic fans, and is the oldest ongoing Sonic fan game still seeing support and even entire modding events for it to this day. I have nothing but respect for the status and legacy of this game. That doesn't mean I have to like it. So, what's my problem with Sonic Robo Blast 2? Well, since I ran out of nice things to say, I guess I can get to answering that. That was a that was a joke, by the way. I actually have more props to give to the game, which I will sprinkle throughout my whining. It's not that deep. Don't take it so seriously. There isn't much left to be said about Sonic Robo Blast 2 that hasn't been said before. This game has been praised up to the moon over the years by numerous fans. I made a video on my favorite Sonic game, Sonic World DX, a little while ago, and a good portion of the response on it was basically, okay cool, but Sonic Robo Blast 2 better. It was acclaimed pretty much everywhere I looked, so I figured I'd take a crack at it myself, see what I've been missing out on. Now I'm here before you pretty confident in the idea that I can say something has yet to be said about this game, because I haven't seen any of the following points brought up against it. Sonic Robo Blast 2 fundamentally does not work for me. Let me explain. Sonic Robo Blast 2 is a game you just can't mistake for any other. I mean, you simply take a glance at it and it immediately sticks out. This is most definitely thanks to the foundation the game is built on, interestingly enough being the Doom engine, or at least the modification of it. This certainly helps the game stand out and benefits it on a visual note, but gameplay wise I can't help that it does more I can't help but feel, sorry, that it does more harm than good. Go ahead and type out that skill issue if you want, but you know what? I'm actually willing to admit it as one. The camera system and general movement present in this game was never able to click with me during my playthrough. Just moving around and trying to gain speed proved to be a challenge. Rarely was I ever having fun moving the character around. Look at this, I can't even spin Nash in a straight line! The feel of character movement and character movesets in a platformer is paramount to the experience if you ask me, and is personally an instant ticket to replayability. If it's fun to jump around, I'm going to have fun jumping around almost regardless of the rest of the game's quality. Here, it's just so awkward. Hardly any action feels satisfying to perform, especially with how slippery the movement generally is. Bundle that with a death perception that I just... that I just... that I just can't with! Huh? And you have yourself a recipe for me straight up not having a good time! The stages presence in Sonic Robo Blast 2 are vibrant, varied, and intricately detailed. There are points where I found myself somewhat enjoying just exploring them, or at least the idea of it while I struggled to get my bearings. But as much as I wanted to like these stages further, especially from a level design standpoint, I couldn't with how much moving around in them was just such a drag. More often than not, if the opportunity presented itself, I would avoid platforming challenges, and the same would go for enemy encounters as well. I feel this naturally lessened my appreciation of the levels, which is unfortunate, but expected when traversing them is as unfun as it is here. And it only got worse as the game progressed too. Truth be told, I actually haven't played the game to its end because Castle Leg Man- Ooh, Castle Leg Man! I'm gonna become a convict. This level pushed me to my wit's end. My inability to grasp the depth perception and tightly platform was costing me life after life. And I don't care what you say, a lot of deaths didn't feel anywhere near my fault. The same crap that had been plaguing my experience up until this point was all just as present as ever, only now I'm being punished for a lot of it more than ever. Whereas before I would simply lose rings or have to make my way back up to a missed jump, I just stopped bothering to see the game through to its conclusion because I just wasn't having a lot of fun. And for the majority of my playthrough, that's just kinda how it was. People like to defend this game on the merit of its incredible modding scene alone, which I respect and I have given it some mods to try myself. But the game controlling as unreliably as it does, I just can't bring myself to care about experiencing it further, even with the mods. I know better than to call Sonic Robo Blast 2 a bad game as a result of any of that though. Passion oozes out of every moment with this game, and you can tell just by looking at it that it was made with care. Surely there must be good reason as to why the game is held in as high of a regard as it is. And I understand that. Which is why I'm here to say that Sonic Robo Blast 2 isn't a bad game. It's a good game that's simply not for me.
much just about all I have to say in regards to this game though. I wish my experience had been a bit more positive, a lot more positive in fact. I really did want to leave the game with a positive impression. I wanted to see so bad what everyone else was seeing in it. And you know, maybe I still can. That, that's, that's where you guys come in, right? You know, because this is just a discussion that's just getting started. I'm just putting out my current experience with the game. But if, if some of you guys have some like enlightening tips or maybe maybe some alternative methods or maybe try to alter maybe tell me what you see in sonic world s2 and maybe i could try to look for those same things when i go back and maybe check it out once more again for myself maybe i can try to view it through that lens too look for what the game excels in instead of looking at all the things that i don't think the game excels in maybe i could have a newfound appreciation for it then but yeah that that's about it for now that those are that those are my current thoughts on the game. I'm looking forward to discussing it with you guys, though. What do you guys think of Sonic World Blast 2? I don't know why I'm asking. I'm pretty sure I already got most of the, most of the answers to that on my Sonic World DX video. <laughs> but you know, no, no, no. Let, let's continue the discussion anyway. Let's talk Sonic World Blast 2. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say on it. Um, maybe, just maybe, my mind can be changed. You know, it's not too late. I'm still open to looking at the game differently. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the comment section. Miguel signing off. But yeah, that's the video. I'll see you guys in the comment section. Miguel signing off.